a lot of people ask questions around being able to hear God's voice, see, and, and those type of things. And of course, it's quite complicated because we're all in different situations or positions. What I would say is in your situation, as you have been able to do something in the past that you're more struggling to do now, would be to see why. What is the root of why your mind is not quiet? Are there things going on in your life which are causing that instability or that concern or anxiousness or just sort of think about that and take that back into your relationship with the father and ask him to help you deal with whatever the issues are. You know, I know it's hard because it's almost like a, a, a counteractive thing you can't hear god very well because you've got issues and therefore you want to deal with the issues but you can't hear god very well to deal with the issues and it just sort of becomes a vicious circle which is quite hard to break I'm, i understand but the first thing i would say is focus on just the relationship so focus on the purpose of you engaging with god is not to hear his voice it's not to see anything but to sense his presence and come to a place of peace and rest in his presence where you're thinking about the throne of grace and grace and mercy in time of need and just resting in his goodness faithfulness and mercy in your life and rather than going with a lot of questions rather than going with i need this and i need that or i need this answering and i want to hear your voice about this actually focus on developing the desire for just intimacy without an agenda because as soon as you place an agenda on it then you're pushing god for something rather than just wanting to be and he wants you to learn to be at rest so are there exercises to do yeah i i would um there are some things where it's like okay what are some of the issues if it's something that you're worried about or anxious or concerned about it then deal with that acknowledge that before you start acknowledge that this is in my mind right now so okay i'm going to come to the point where okay i'll think about this later don't try and suppress it but recognize it and say no i'm going to deal with this but i'm going to deal with it later that's not what i'm doing now if it's a physical thing sometimes we can be uncomfortable sometimes actually it's even difficult to stay still for very long then you know learning to sort of relax and learning to to sort of come to a place where okay i'm going to de-stress my body right now and i'm just going to come to relax i i've always used the sort of the psalm 23 lying down in green pastures by quiet waters with the shepherd and that is my picture so i use that as my intentional focus that's what i'm doing i'm choosing to lie down i'm going to close my eyes i'm just going to come i'm going to lie down I'm going to be by those quiet waters, which are refreshing waters. I'm being with the shepherd. He's going to restore my soul. That's his business to restore my soul. I'm just going to come to surrender. So I need to surrender to the timing that he does things. I'm going to surrender to the process that he will has got me in. And I'm not going to set the agenda. I'm not going to try and run ahead or press him to do things quicker. Um, so it's coming to that point of acceptance this is where i am and i'm going to rest in him where i am because he's going to carry any griefs and sorrows i've got he i'm going to cast all my burdens on him so before i start i'm just going to offload everything i do know anything that's going through my mind that i do know i am going to choose to picture that i'm going to put that now in a package and I'm going to hand it over to him or I'm going to lay it at his feet or whatever way makes sense to you when you're looking at that ping. And you can have your own picture or way that works for you. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.